Now that you've seen Marcha uh, at full speed all together, let's break it down into the small parts and so we can practice them better. Uh, the rhythm, as you see, is just going to be straight 16th notes all the way through. So there's no rhythm surprises here. It's just all about tone production. The first tone you have, represented by the triangle, is this bass tone. You want to keep your fingers together, keep your hand relaxed, you know, stay loose all the way through, and drop your hand almost like you're just dropping your arm and it's just completely dead and just happens to hit the drum. It will look and sound like this, bass tone. My hand hits in the center of the drum, and it should be very relaxed. The next tone is a toe heel, sometimes called palm fingers. And this one is will make or break your marcha. So we'll spend a little bit of time talking about this. Uh, this would be the heel, this would be the toe. Make sure your left hand plays heel toe at the same volume as all the other notes. This is what heel toe looks like. I kept my hand towards the center of the drum and I would crank my fingers back as far as I could get them to go comfortably so by the time it hit the drum it would have enough momentum to, to create a, a loud enough sound. One of the classic things you hear uh, for kind of a mediocre sounding marcha is you hear only the right hand playing. So bring your fingers all the way back and really snap them down to get a really loud sound out of fingers. That is the toe heel and that's represented by the diamond symbol. Next is a muted slap. It is um, notated with an X. A muted slap is muted because you take one hand and you rest it, you know, center, slightly off center of the drum. And you take your other hand, in my case I'll use my right hand, and I keep it loose. Um, relaxed, my fingers will not be together like they were before. They'll be slightly splayed, a little bit relaxed, because you want this hand to be whip-like. It needs to whip down, grab the drum, which will create a really staccato, high-pitched, sharp, short sound. So this is what a muted slap will look like and sound like. You'll notice that I kind of grab the drum when my hand hits it. And my hand's real relaxed. You need this speed, like cracking a whip, to get that short, high-pitched sound. Experiment. If I was going to play this, I'd experiment with this drum a bit longer, and I might adjust the position of my left hand on the different spots of the drum and the target of my fingertips. So my right hand fingertips might hit different spots on the drum, I'm trying to find that sweet spot that creates that high-pitched staccato slap sound. The slap sound will take you the longest to develop, so start practicing that one right now. The last one we have, most straightforward, is the open tone. The open tone is represented just by the regular note head. And my hand is slightly curved, fingers together, still relaxed but together. And then I'll play with my fingers more towards the edge of the drum. If before my hand was in the center, you know, slightly off center, this is mostly my fingers up until here hitting the drum. So this is what it'll look and sound like. Sounds a bit more legato. This should be a rounder tone, and that's the sound of an open tone. Now, to finish this off, let's put all these different tones back together. I'll, put, I'll play marcha at a few different tempos again. So that's marcha. Um, those are the ways to, to create the different tones. Uh, in our last video segment for the auxiliary percussion etude, I'll give you a couple exercises to get your hands to properly make these sounds.